In this video, we'll be comparing Linux Mint 22.2 and the newly released Linux Mint Debian Edition version 7. Now I know, both of these look absolutely identical on the surface. Same desktop, same tools, but under the hood, completely different foundations. One is built on Ubuntu, the other on pure Debian. And this single difference changes everything about how you use your computer. I've been playing around with both LMD7 and Linux Mint 22.2 side by side and the differences are actually quite strong. We are talking completely different kernel strategies, different driver management, different software ecosystem and absolutely divergent philosophies about stability. In fact, both of these are very different systems and in this video, we'll be comparing them side by side. The performance, the stability, software availability and the final experience that you're going to get from both of these systems. I'm going to break this down for you. Let's jump right in. So what exactly is LMD? LMD stands for Linux Mint Debian Edition and as the name suggests, it's Linux Mint built directly on Debian instead of Ubuntu. Yeah, you get the same Cinnamon desktop, the same Mint tools, the same polished experience, but under the hood, it's pure Debian, no Ubuntu in between. LMD was originally created as an insurance policy for the Mint project in case Ubuntu disappeared or went in a direction they didn't agree with, you know, snaps and stuff. But then, LMD has now matured into a rock solid system that appeals to Debian enthusiasts and stability purists who want that Mint experience without any of Ubuntu's baggage. This has evolved into something that's super polished and in certain areas, better than the main Linux Mint. Here's the thing, if you sit down in front of a fresh LMD7 installation and a fresh Linux Mint 22.2 installation, you honestly wouldn't be able to tell them apart. Same cinnamon desktop, same menu layout, same wallpaper options, same mint tools, they look absolutely identical. But this is where it gets interesting because everything that matters is happening under the hood and trust me, the differences run deep. The choice between LMD7 and Linux Mint 22 isn't about which one looks better or has cooler features, it's about the foundation. One is built on Ubuntu, the other on Debian Stable. This is the differentiating factor. And that one difference creates a ripple effect that touches everything. How your drivers get installed, which software you have access to, how often you get updates, and even how fast your system feels. Ultimately, the final experience you get from these two distros. So let's break down these differences one by one, because by the end of this video, I want you to know exactly which foundation is right for you. Linux Mint 22.2 is built on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. LMD7 is built on Debian 13 Trixie. Ubuntu gives you hardware enablement stack. That means your kernel gets updated throughout the lifecycle to support newer hardware. LMD locks in Linux kernel 6.12 for the entire life of the release. That kernel stays put. Maximum stability but potentially missing support for brand new hardware that come out later. Here's the philosophy difference. Debian freezes its packages for about two years. You get security updates and critical bug fixes after that. Not feature updates necessarily, that's it. Ubuntu pushes more frequent updates throughout its point releases. More changes, more features, but also more things that can potentially break. Although this is very rare because Ubuntu is very stable too. And there's the corporate angle. Ubuntu is backed by Canonical. That brings resources and polish, but also corporate decisions like snaps. Debian is purely community driven, no corporate overlords making controversial calls. So this difference in the stability and package freezing mechanism has big implications as far as hardware support is concerned. I think for many people this can be the deciding factor. A Linux Mint 22 comes with a graphical driver manager. You open it, you see your Nvidia card or your Wi-Fi adapter and you click install. Done. Proprietary drivers installed, no terminal commands, no hunting down package names, it just works. On LMD7, you actually don't get this driver manager. You have to install drivers manually through the terminal or the software manager. For NVIDIA users especially, this can be a hassle. You need to know which package to install, run commands and troubleshoot if something goes wrong. This is the single biggest complaint about LMD I have. At least give us some script that automates the whole thing. Anyway, I have attached a step-by-step -step guide explaining NVIDIA driver installation on LMD E7 in the description below. So yeah, if you want to do some gaming and have a NVIDIA computer, going with Linux Mint version just makes sense. But if you're comfortable with the terminal and installing it via commands, then yeah, you can work with LMD7 as well. And it's not just NVIDIA. Very new hardware can be hit or miss on LMD. That fixed kernel means if your brand new laptop's Wi-Fi card needs a driver that's not in kernel 6.12, you're manually installing it from backports or hunting down solutions online, not a good position to be in. I'm actually facing this issue on a new laptop that I bought just now. 
LMD is having issues connecting to the Wi-Fi and the Ubuntu version of Linux Mint worked completely fine. So yeah, obviously you cannot use your computer without graphics drivers or Wi-Fi drivers. So if LMD has issues in these departments on your computer, then you're out of luck and you have to stick with the Linux Mint 22.2 version. By the way, if you haven't already, check out my course Linux Mastery Express. I've designed this course to level up your Linux skills very quickly. With this course, you'll get so comfortable using the terminal commands that your friends will think you're a Linux wizard. You'll get perfect with the most used, most useful commands and also learn advanced things like using the vEditor and shell scripting as well. Linux Mastery Express, link in the description, do check it out. Alright, let's talk about the software availability and there are differences here as well. Linux Mint 22 has access to the massive Ubuntu repositories. Pretty much anything you want, you can sudo apt install it. And then there are the PPAs, personal package archives. These let you add third party repositories to get newer versions of software or applications that are not available in the official repositories. Want the latest version of OBS Studio? Add the PPA. Want a bleeding edge graphics driver? There's a PPA for that. Many software vendors test and release their software for Ubuntu as it is the most popular Linux distro and these .deb packages can be installed on Linux Mint with zero issues. They just work on Linux Mint. LMD 7 no PPA support. You try to add an Ubuntu PPA to LMD, you risk breaking your system. Don't do it. So you are limited to what's in the Debian repositories and Debian backports. And here's the trade-off. Debian repositories are huge, massive. Actually, you'll find anything and everything you want there, but the packages can be older. The frozen package philosophy that we talked about earlier means you might be running software that's a year or two behind the latest release. For some people, that is fine. For others, this is a deal breaker. Let me share my personal experience in this department. Because of the extreme stability, everything you install here will work perfectly and smoother than on most other distros. There are no bugs, there are no glitches, there are no issues. It's all super polished. But at the same time, you might be missing out on newer features, newer technologies. That's just how it is here on Debian stable based distros. But here's the workaround. Flatpaks. Both systems support Flatpaks out of the box and Flatterb has pretty much everything. You might have expected the Ubuntu based Linux Mint to support Ubuntu snaps, but that's actually not the case. Linux Mint supports Flatpaks and everything is configured and ready to go. You just open the software store and install any software you want. And when you install using Flatpak, you're getting the absolute latest version of that software. So that old package issue that we talked about for LMD7, that's completely bypassed here. So yeah, if you prefer to use Flatpaks over native .dot packages, then the software availability department becomes much less relevant in choosing between these two. But remember, these Flatpaks take up significantly larger storage space and can be slower to start up compared to native .dot packages. All right, performance. Both LMD7 and Linux Mint 22 have very similar performance profiles, but it is nuanced. Let's dig into it. Both use Cinnamon 6.4, so the responsiveness and that snappy feel you get when interacting with your computer is pretty much identical. The differences show up in specific workloads based on what's underneath. LMD7 pulls ahead in file-heavy tasks. Debian 13 mounts the TMP directory in RAM by default. Compiling code, rendering video, working with large archives, you'll feel it. And in cross-distro CPU benchmarks, Debian 13 consistently beats Ubuntu 24.04 by a few percent. Small edge, but measurable. But that's not to say that main Mint is slower. No, it brings its own set of performance improvements. Mint 22.2 ships with the HWE kernel, currently 6.14. That's newer than LMD 6.12 kernel, and it's going to be continually updated while LMD stays on 6.12. This means better frame rates, better support for latest GPUs, better handling of VRR and HDR, and that one-click driver manager means you hit peak gaming performance in minutes. And the main Linux Mint has always been known for its fluid performance. When stability is concerned, LMD is rock solid. Debian's frozen package model means it just doesn't break. Updates are rare and quiet, perfect for work machines. Linux Mint 22.2 is stable too, just more, uh, how do I put it, more active with updates. Ultimately, both these versions of Linux Mint deliver buttery smooth performance thanks to the light and fast cinnamon desktop environment, that instant responsiveness from your desktop and just a great computing experience performance voice. Alright, we have covered the foundations, the drivers, the software, the performance. Now comes the big question, which one should you actually install? Here's the thing. 
both are fantastic distributions you're not making a wrong choice either way but one is probably better suited for your specific needs and priorities so let's break this down if you're new to linux linux mint 22.2 is probably better for you that graphical driver manager alone is worth it this is especially critical if you have nvidia hardware you'll be gaming or working at full performance in minutes instead of hours because there is quite a performance gap between using proprietary NVIDIA drivers and the open source ones that you get out of the box. If you got a brand new laptop or desktop, go with Mint 22.2. The hardware enablement kernel stream means you are getting kernel 6.14 and future updates. Brand new Wi-Fi cards, the latest Intel or AMD processors, cutting edge GPUs, they just work. LMD's fixed 6.12 kernel might leave you troubleshooting hardware that came out after that release. This issue might get even more pronounced in the next year. If gaming is your thing, Mint 22 is the better choice. Better frame rates with the newer kernel, easy driver installation and access to PPAs for the latest Mesa drivers and gaming tools if you need those. And if you rely on specific software from PPAs, you need the Ubuntu base. LMD doesn't support PPAs and trying to force them will break your system. And if you're actually unsure, I recommend you just go with the Mint 22.2. It's the default best recommendation for 90% of people. If stability is your number one priority, LMD7 is better for you. This is the distribution for work machines that just cannot break. Updates are rare and predictable. You set it up once and it just works for years. Developer, system administrators, anyone who depends on their computer for critical work will love this. Now LMD is something more. If you're not really excited about Canonical's direction with snaps, if you want a system that's purely community driven without corporate influence, LMD7 is your answer. Pure Debian Foundation, all the mint polish, zero Ubuntu baggage. In fact, if you think about it, it actually makes sense for this to be the main Linux Mint version. And the NVIDIA driver advantage that the main Linux Mint has, it can be installed on LMD7 by just following the guide attached in the description below. LMD, it gives you a rock solid system that stays out of your way. It's a distribution for people who have graduated past the beginner stage and want something that just works forever. And look, this isn't a permanent life decision. You can always switch later. Both are mint. Your data is portable, your skills transfer. Try one, see how it feels. You are not locked in. Let's quickly touch up on the gaming on both of these distributions. A Linux Mint 22.2, you just won't go wrong with it for gaming. Make sure the proper GPU drivers are installed using the driver manager. Install Steam, install your games and just get gaming. Works absolutely fine. On LMD, if you have AMD hardware, then it's exactly the same thing as long as all your hardware are working fine. As I said, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can easily install the drivers using the commands given in the description below. And if it works fine, then you are set. Ultimately, it comes down to the convenience and how comfortable someone is using the terminal and maybe even doing a little bit of troubleshooting. So yeah, this department, I'm going to leave it here as it's highly user dependent. Alright, so which one would I personally choose? For me, it's LMD7 and here's why. That pure Debian base just feels right. No Ubuntu layer, no canonical distance filtering through, just Debian's rock solid foundation with mint polish on top. And honestly, I think LMD is saner long term base for Linux Mint as a project. It's independent, it's stable, it's pure. And here's the beautiful thing about this comparison. Both of these distributions are phenomenal. Linux Mint 22.2 is brilliant for what it does. LMD7 is brilliant for what it does. And the fact that Linux Mint team maintains both at this level of quality, that's impressive. That's choice done right. And at no time or area does LMD make you feel like it's a backup project by Linux Mint developers. Absolutely not. It just feels as premium, just as polished. And the thing is, you're not choosing between good and bad here. You're choosing between two different philosophies. Ubuntu's convenience and hardware support versus Debian stability and independence. Yeah, I think we have summed this up perfectly and this choice is yours to make. The download links for both these versions of Linux Mint are given in the description below. Alright, if you found this video helpful, if you enjoyed it, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and also leave me a big thumbs up and tell me which one are you going with. Let me know in the comments below. And if you are interested in learning up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to zero in the shortest time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Next up, check out my video on the top 10 hottest Linux apps that you should be using. I got some really fantastic ones there, so trust me, you don't want to miss this. Alright, this is Linux Tech signing out.